Airsoft pistol maintenance is something that inexperienced airsoft players often overlook when they buy their first gas blowback pistol. This can lead to problems occurring within the pistol such as jammings, misfeeds and drops in performance and velocity, as well as significantly reducing the lifespan of your pistol. One way in which you can avoid these problems is a good maintenance regime when it comes to looking after your shiny new bit of kit. It doesn't take much time or effort to do so and believe me, it all pays off. You don't need many tools to keep your pistol in peak condition. These consist of silicon spray, silicon grease, a dry rag, your suited gas depending on which pistol you have and a set of screwdrivers or valve keys. Links are available in the description on where you can purchase these items. So that you are able to lubricate your gas blowback, you must first do a basic field strip. Instructions can usually be found in the manual or do a search on Google. I'm sure there are plenty of videos out there that show you how to take down your pistol. The pistol here is simply stripped of the slide of a catch on the left side of the gun. This causes the slide to pop forward and is then easily removed. Take your dry rag and wipe around the inside of the slide and frame, the upper and lower parts of the pistol. Try to wipe away as much grease and dirt that is possible by making the inside of the gun as dry as possible, taking particular note to the slide rails. This is the part that rubs against the lower part of the gun when being fired. The rag that I am using is simply just an old towel. It doesn't really matter what you use to clean your gun, just to try to choose something that doesn't produce fluff. Take your silicon spray and spray lubricant into the underside of the slide assembly, fairly literally, but not enough so that it starts to pull. Here I'm using Abbey Silicon Gun Oil. Only ever use 100% silicon lubricants, not something like 3-in-1 as these will degrade the rubber seals and cause problems with the gun's performance. Do the same thing to the open top of the lower frame, paying special attention to the trigger and hammer mechanism. Take your finger and dab it into the lubricant until you have a subtle amount of grease on the end of your finger. Apply to the slide rails by rubbing up and down the slide. Once again, I'm using Abbey Silicon Gun Grease. Now put the pistol back together. For my model, it's just a simple case of placing the slide onto the rail of the frame, pulling back the hammer and then sliding it across into place. Lubing your hop-up chamber can keep the rubber from cracking over time. For this pistol, I don't need to restrip it. Just pull back the slide and spray a small amount of silicon spray into the hop-up chamber. The pistol I'm using here is my KWA P226 which I got from Excite Airsoft. Now that the pistol is fully maintenance, rack the slide back and forth several times to spread the lubricant across the gun. Now wipe away any access lube that I spilled onto the frame or slide. A sometimes overlooked part of a healthy gas blowback pistol is the magazine. Spray a quick burst of silicon into the opening on the top of the magazine. This will help maintenance the mechanism of the valve, which releases the gas when the trigger is pulled. Now turn your mag over and spray a burst of silicon into the gas fill valve. For storage, keep the magazine with a one second burst of gas inside. This will help preserve the seals in the magazine. Only use the gas that is recommended for your gas blowback. If in doubt, hit me up with a PM or contact the experts at Airsoft World or Fire Support. My pistol having a metal slide runs best on green gas because the slide can handle the more powerful kick. However, pistols that have plastic slides, such as TMs, will crack under the power of green gas. That's why TM pistols work best on less powerful gas such as Abbey Ultra Gas. Once again, only use high quality BBs in your gas blowback, not something you bought off Amazon or in a sporting goods store. These can jam the gun and cause damage to the inner barrel. I usually use 2.8 BBs in my gun as it gives me decent accuracy and doesn't affect the range significantly. 
For storage, hang on to the original box and invest in a foam line case, as this will reduce the effect of any impact and keep your piston in good condition. Like a clock or car engine, a gas blowback is a mass of fine moving parts and will reward maintenance with extended life and improve performance out on the field. To get the best out of your gas blowback, spend a little time now and again to keep it in peak condition.